Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my Q&A and I posted a picture on Instagram asking you guys to ask me some questions and I also asked you guys to ask me some questions on my last YouTube video which was the American Girl Doll Crafting Challenge. So I will be answering some of your guys' questions and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with Instagram first. So American Girl 1503 Photography asked, what is my favorite color and movie? And that would have to be pink and a tie between Tangled and Despicable Me. She also asked if I were trapped in the American Girl doll store and I had no money, what would I do? So to be honest, you know all of those dolls on display, I would actually go to every single one of them and go fix their hair because personally whenever I go to the store, a lot of little girls, they go around running and like touching all of the dolls on display, but they never put them back properly so their hair always gets messed up and that's one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I go to their store so I would probably just go to every single display and like fix all the dolls hair and she also asked how do I style my dolls hair so typically with my curly hair dolls I really like for them to have their hair down but also with Lily especially I love to put her hair up just because her hair is so soft and can hold braids so well so I love to do updos with her and I typically like to leave Gabby's hair down just because her curls are like so intense and for my straight hair dolls I usually like to keep their hair down as well or do like simple half up half down look just because I don't like to leave in braids in their hair for too long so it's typically easier to put in like clips or cute accessories in their hair instead of actually braiding and stuff I also have a playlist that lists like how I maintain my doll's hair how I curl it and all the different hairstyles I do on them so I'll be sure to link down the playlist in the description box below for you guys so TDG Barnett asked who is my favorite doll and I don't necessarily have a favorite doll to be honest and she also asked what is my opinion on Leah and I think Leah is actually really really cute I love her collection itself it's just really similar to one of the past girl of the years so I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of it but she's a cute doll herself I personally wouldn't get her and then finally she asked what doll are you planning on getting next and as of right now I'm not planning to get any more dolls just because five right now is really hectic for me I don't have a lot of storage so I'm holding off on getting another doll. Australian girl fan asked, what is my favorite AG movie? And I love Samantha's movie. That has to be my favorite. I loved, loved, loved how it turned out. It was just an overall great movie. And she also asked, favorite Be Forever slash historical doll. Hmm, that's gonna be really, really hard. I'd probably have to say Julie just because the 70s was a really cool time period and I love her collection too. And if Ivy was still there, then Julie would definitely be my favorite historical collection. And she also asked, how do you store all of your doll clothes? And I will be doing a doll organization video really soon and I will show you guys how I organize and put all of my doll stuff away because I have a lot. Now I'm going to move on to the YouTube questions. So the Journal of a Doll asked, what is my favorite book? And ooh, that's gonna be really hard, but I love The Catcher in the Rye. If you guys have not read it yet, it's one of my favorite favorite books. Definitely, definitely in my top five for sure. Also, my opinion on AG retiring the Biddy Twins. And I actually didn't even know that they were going to retire the Biddy Twins. So I don't really have that big of an opinion on it. And she asked, how do you feel about our generation? Honestly, our generation has a lot, a lot of great stuff for your dolls. It's actually pretty, pretty good and for a cheap price too. And finally, AG Imagine Studios asked, what is your favorite doll that you own? And I personally don't have a favorite doll that I own. I love all my dolls equally. It's really really hard to pick a favorite just because they all have special qualities that I love about them. And then she also asked, do you have a favorite girl of the year? Well, I do have McKenna. She's a girl of the year. Um, 2012, I believe. I personally do not have a favorite though. I could say my top three. I love McKenna. I loved Isabel just because I love her collection because Daisy is actually like really similar to her and her personality. And then I loved Chris's collection too. Last question is, do you have a doll you own that you least like? Ooh, probably my least favorite. That's gonna be really hard. If it was like styling wise, my least favorite is probably Gabby just because sometimes her hair is like really hectic to Take care of her curls are like really really intense so sometimes I get annoyed with like taking care of her curls but then other than that she's like such a great doll well that's basically it for this Q&A thank you so much for asking me questions and hopefully I answered majority of them you guys asked such great questions and if you guys would like to be featured in my next Q&A video make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm probably gonna post 
post another picture soon asking for you guys to ask me some more questions. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!